Hi, this is Jeffrey, and in this video, we're going to go back to 1976 and visit the Museum of Modern Art in New York City where they had their taxi exhibit. Now, the name of this exhibit was The Taxi Project, Realistic Solutions for Today. This was a very unique exhibit in which the Museum of Modern Art asked auto manufacturers to develop and build prototypes for new types of taxi cabs that can be used in New York City or probably anywhere else. Now, the Museum of Modern Art had developed a design specifications manual for new taxi cabs, and the manufacturers had to follow those uh, standards. Now, five manufacturers submitted prototype, life-size prototypes of taxi cabs, and they were the American Machine and Foundry Company, Steam Power Systems, Volvo, Volkswagen, and Alfa Romeo. Now, what's interesting is that the American Machine and Foundry Company and Steam Power Systems submitted taxi cabs prototypes that were powered by steam, which is really quite unusual. Now, they've also uh, published a book on this exhibit, and you can actually download this book from uh, the Museum of Modern Arts website, and they also uh, had a press release. So in this video, I'm going to read the press release of this exhibit from 1976 while we look at images of the taxi cabs that were designed for this special exhibit. So let's get started in visiting the Museum of Modern Art in 1976 and looking at the taxi cabs that were designed for that exhibit. So here's the press release from the Museum of Modern Art at 11 West 53rd Street in New York City. This is number 47 for release June 18th, 1976. And there was a press preview on June 16th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Taxis are the unsung heroes of urban transportation, says Emilio Ambaz, curator of design and director of the exhibit. Their industry is an important part of the national transit system and a key factor in interurban movement. In the U.S., approximately 170,000 vehicles serve 2.5 billion passengers yearly and are the only form of public transportation in more than 3,400 communities. The taxi prototypes, the outcome of the museum's taxi project, are practical and realistic solutions that industry can produce at reasonable prices and that can be operated economically. The taxis specially designed for meeting urban traffic conditions could improve the quality of life in the urban environment, for they would use less energy, reduce air pollution, and cut traffic congestion, as well as provide safe and comfortable accommodations for passengers and luggage. The Taxi Project – Realistic Solutions for Today Five newly designed taxis, each roomier than the famous London cab, will go on pub public view at the Museum of Modern Art on June 18th. The purpose of this important project and exhibition is to produce with the cooperation of the automobile industry at a reasonable cost a taxi vehicle which would better serve the needs of the taxi industry, the drivers, and the, the passengers. To propose, propose an expanded role for taxis as a supplement to existing mass transportation in response to the need for an alternative to conventional transit and the private automobile. To demonstrate that paratransit vehicles, taxis, jitneys, dialer rides, sub subscription services, etc., are vital to the community in terms of the economy, the environment, and the conservation of energy as well as efficiency and convenience. Conceived and directed by Emilio Ambaz, curator of design, the taxi project, Realistic Solutions for Today, was made possible by grants from Mobile Oil Corporation and the Urban Mass Transportation Administration of the United States Department of Transportation. The exhibit, the exhibit runs through September 7th. At the museum's invitation, 
two American and two European car man- manufacturers produced new working prototypes of taxi cabs based on specifications developed by the museum and the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. The American manufacturers, American Machine and Foundry, and Steam Power Systems, both of California, worked under a contract from the U.S. Department of Transportation. The European companies are Volvo and Volkswagen. A third European company, Alfa Romeo, adopted the museum's design specifications for developing, on its own, a taxi for the European market. This prototype is exhibited Ors Concours, the familiar, familiar London cab long considered by many as the most comfortable taxi is also being shown. The taxis are presented in the galleries against a backdrop against a back, background of New York City's night skyline. Painted on the gallery walls, the skyline contains billboards on which color slides are projected showing the taxis operating on city streets, how they can be easily entered by passengers juggling large packages by people in wheelchairs, by mothers with baby strollers, how the driver in his protected compartment is able to communicate with passengers. As a reminder of the role taxis have played around the world for hundreds of years, the exhibit includes photographs and drawings of historical cabs. The accompanying publication by Emilio Embaz emphasizes the present importance of taxis in the American public transportation system and outlines various proposals for more extensive uses such as jitneys, dialer rides, and subscription services and discusses forms of financial assistance for the industry. The 160-page volume includes statements written by each of the five engineering and design teams of the participating manufacturers who have produced taxi prototypes, illustrated with numerous diagrams and black and white color photographs. Background of the project. Despite the fact that in the United States, taxis transport almost 70% more passengers, passengers than all rapid transit systems combined, And although recent innovative experiments here and abroad have demonstrated potential uses of taxis, the design of this vehicle has been almost universally neglected. The museum, with the aid of the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission, engineering consultants and representatives of the New York City taxi fleet owners, as well as private taxi owners, developed a manual of design specifications for an urban vehicle that would that would provide for the safety and comfort of the driver, ease of communication with passengers, and ease of loading and unloading baggage, including wheelchairs, and which would reduce pollution and traffic congestion. All major manufacturers of motor vehicles in the U.S. and European manufacturers with production facilities in this country were invited to design taxis meeting these specifications. American manufacturers declined, but the U.S. Department of Transportation made funds available to the two California companies which produced three to four passenger prototypes operating on steam propulsion propulsion plants. Volvo, now building an 8,000 car capacity assembly plant in Virginia, designed a three to four passenger prototype with a complete new body and a diesel engine. Volkswagen, whose factory in this country will be ready in the late 1970s, utilized the Volkswagen camper as the basis for a four to five passenger prototype equipped with a new hybrid propulsion system. The museum's design specifications stressed a pragmatic approach to design. The immediate goal was to create realistic cabs which are economical to operate and maintain comfortable and safe, and aimed to reduce both pollution and traffic congestion. Among the factors the participants were asked to consider in designing their working prototypes were the safety and comfort of the driver, ease of communication with passenger, and ease of loading and unloading luggage. From the point of view of fleet owners, 
the new designs were to be more efficient and economical to operate and maintain. From the point of view of the passenger, they were to be more comfortable and efficient, roomy enough to allow entrance for a mother with a baby carriage or a handicapped person in a wheelchair. From the point of view of the city, the prototypes had to be designed with the objective of significantly reducing pollution and traffic congestion. The taxi vehicles presented at the museum have successfully answered the strict requirements set by the design specifications manual. The pronounced height and squareness of the vehicles in the taxi project exhibition are the consequence of the extremely rigorous standards and restrictions set by the manual. The museum's intent is to call attention to the fact that if taxis' importance as a public service were recognized and if the cab were adequately financed and regulated, it could also be made to serve the needs of the handicapped, the old, and the poor who live around the core of central cities in areas neglected by rail and bus transportation. The museum's long-range goal was to demonstrate that if taxi cabs and jitney services were assigned a more important role in urban transit, considerable improvement could be brought about by a comparatively small investment. The impact of such changes would be visible in a short time and have positive effects throughout the city structure. It would not involve heavy investments in equipment and material, or urban expropriations for motorways and rights of way, with all the concomitant aspects of social disruption common to highway construction in urban areas. An improved and expanded range of taxi services would, moreover, provide a wider set of transit choices. It is clearly the most immediate and economical move which can be taken to improve public transportation in our cities and suburbs, Mr. Ambas asserts. The Taxi Project, Realistic Solutions for Today by Emilio Ambas with accompanying essays by G.N. Giorgano, Martin Wall, and Brian Richards, statements by the five engineering and design teams of the participating manufacturers who have produced prototypes for the Taxi Project. 176 pages with 236 illustrations, including 12 in color, the cost is $12, published by the Museum of Modern Art in New York. So that was a very interesting exhibit that was held at the Museum of Modern Art back in 1976. Uh, nothing ever came of the prototypes that were shown there. None of them were ever mass produced for use in New York City or probably any other uh, city in the United States. Now, one interesting thing to note here is that back in 2008, the city of New York held a contest to design the taxi cab of the future. And in 2011, Mayor Bloomberg announced that Nissan was the winner with the NV200. And anyone who has been to New York City within the last, you know, 10, 15 years has seen these Nissan NV200s all over the place. Uh, except now taxi cabs have become far less uh, common than they were uh, many years ago due to, uh, you know, Uber and other, you know, ride sharing services. Now, what's also interesting to note is that there was no mention about the checker cab, which was probably one of the most roomiest and comfortable taxi cabs ever built. They were very common into the 70s, maybe into the 1980s. And, you know, they were replaced with replaced with more modern taxi cabs. But it's interesting that while the London cab was mentioned, the checker cab that was so common in New York was not mentioned at all. So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.